Third stress levels of college students can be high, and now the State University of New York is stepping in to help. As Kayla Green reports, SUNY is creating a student mental health and wellness task force. I mean, you're basically transitioning from being a kid to being an adult. Like, it's very scary, like, for some people. Madil Gomez and many other students at the college at Brockport say they've seen their friends dealing with mental health issues from the stress of college. That's why SUNY is forming a task force to come up with the best ways to serve students. Darlene Schmidt is the associate director of the counseling center at Brockport. She says she's excited to take a deeper look into what students really need. I think it is important because it is destigmatizing to put so much attention and focus on it. Um, and I think students are less uncomfortable seeking help. So the volume is going to go up of students that are seeking help. And we're, it's a good thing, but we need to have the resources to support them. With 64 campuses across the state, there are varying needs. That's why staff, administrators, and faculty from several different schools will be part of the group. The group will specifically focus on early intervention and improving existing practices. Gomez says having the support you need can make all the difference. Like once you see the chance to be better, then like people more or less will always try to be better than they were yesterday. The group will also apply for external funding in addition to state aid they recently received. SUNY was given a portion of the Garrett Lee Smith grant received by the New York State Office of Mental Health to assist with suicide prevention. In the newsroom, Kayla Green, News 8. Right, thank you, Kayla. The task force is just getting started and it will present its recommendations to the SUNY Board of Trustees next May.